hello, Tara. How are you doing this evening? Okay, it's it's getting cold here. Uh, is because, it? Because winter is coming. <laughs> but luckily, to protect me, I have Sansa Stark. Do 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 Sansa Stark. Do 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 Sansa Stark. Do 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 Sansa Stark. Queen in the North, do 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 do. Queen in the North, do 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 do. Queen in the North, do 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 do. Queen in the North. This just came last week, and I'm very excited. I had it on pre-order for like ever. The only other Sansa Funko had brown hair. So I'm very excited. I was walking around singing to her all day the day she came in, and Dan was laughing at me. The best part was you singing that song while I was on a conference call. <clears throat> My coworkers loved it. Whatever, they might as well know now. <laughs> They're fun coast hair, and none of them are worth it. Well, neither is whatever you like. <laughs> As you can see in the background there, there's Grady deciding it's time to, to do this right in the middle of the show. Time for a butt licking? No, time to grind his claws on his oh, scratch. Oh, Yeah, I just see the I just see the tower a rocking. So I didn't want to come and knock in. Um All right. It is it is time for the nonsense once again. Although I God, I had such I've had the hell of a weekend. Um, we did boring adult stuff. We we recoded our roof. Yeah, I saw that. That looked not fun. No, well, it's it's essentially like painting only really high. <laughs> now we have to we had to climb on the roof. We had to put. Uh, two coats of very expensive stuff on it. Silicon rubber goop that's for, uh, for, for um, $250 for five gallons, and we had to get six, bu <sighs> six five-gallon buckets. Oof. It's still gonna be forever, though. That's Well, that's good. It's, it's, be. I've, there's like, you, have you ever had like, like one of those, uh, squishy dog balls? Like, <laughs> Well, wow, that's that's a way of putting it. Wow. Um, no the, comment. The, the kind <laughs> you throw in the dog's chase. That guy. You ever had one of those? It's the, yes. the, like hardish rubber. Yeah. Slightly, a, a little bit like, kind of like skin almost, like a little. Yeah. Well, that's what that's that's my entire roof now. Cool. <laughs> Not really. Not really. And then, then I cleaned out a shed. Yay! Being an adult is awesome. Isn't it? We are selling one house and buying another, and we're moving, like, two months earlier than we planned on, and... <sighs> I have to, I have repairs I have to do. I have a con call my contractor and get a wire transfer from my bank, and... And then move every single thing from this is the fun thing about getting floors fixed is you have to play like it's musical chairs only entire yeah. rooms because you have to live somewhere yeah so and I have we have not managed to levitate yet we're here's the here's the most fun to get the floors in the kitchen we have to empty the refrigerator put it on an appliance dolly move it into the living room, plug it back in, put everything back in the refrigerator, yeah. let them put down the new flooring, then take everything out of the refrigerator, put it back in the appliance dolly, move it back into the kitchen, put all the stuff back in the fridge. <sighs> yeah, that's super fun. Isn't it just? We're going to drive cost country with three cats. We were going to fly, but now that we're moving in the middle of winter, I don't want to get stuck in an airport with, with a delayed cats. flight and three cats. Yeah. 
So we're just going to drive 2,000 miles with three cats, and I'm sure that's going to be great. They will sing to you. Oh, yes. Symbol will howl all the way. And when Peggy's in the car, she does this little ow. She tries to howl like a little tiny wolf. <sighs> Let's get oh, the- adulting. Let's get the intro going. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff. Bring you back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And, um. It's my mouse. Come here, mouse. There you are. In addition to the, the regular nonsense this week, as, as usual, as is our want, um, it's time for a very special, it's, it's a very special time of year. Um, ladies and gentlemen, now our watch begins. Our watch begins. Yavle, got, Yavle blocking. The, the, the Yavle goat. I need to do this. I, 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 now that I actually, we actually have a logo for this, I need to do this better. There needs to be like music. Like, yeah, we need like the breaking news. All right. For those. And like a metal guy screaming, go watch. For the. I always try to throw the goat and I do hang loose because I'm not metal at all. For the uninitiated, what we're talking about is there is a, a town in Sweden uh, called Yavla, where every year they erect a giant straw goat. And every year it's a coin toss as to whether that goat will survive. Yeah. Because the, there are two traditions. One is building the goat. And the other is setting the giant straw goat on fire. It's burning that fucker down. So, oh, on the one hand, you have all these people trying to keep the goat intact, and a whole bunch of others who are trying to... And this is, this is a holiday tradition. This, yeah. This, this game of, of cat and goat. It's like a very festive Cold War. <laughs> Uh, and we, we, we kind of, some year, last year, it actually made it to Christmas and survived. Will it happen this year? We don't know. We don't know. But uh, we, we will find out if it survived. Pretty much what we have to do is see if it makes it to the new year. That's, that's the, the mark of, of the goat watch. So and that's a long haul. We will, we will keep you, it's just, it's a fascinating little slice of the, because... You would think someone would say, can we just not build the goat this year because well, no. of fire? It's like not putting up the tree at Rockefeller Center. Except no one sets the tree at Rockefeller Center on fire every year. But maybe they should. <sighs> Do we ever figure out why they burn the goat? Is it just anarchy? I, I don't know. I think maybe it's just a giant straw target. <laughs> and some people just can't resist. Really, yeah. It's like it's like when you get like like a thread on your sweater, you know you shouldn't pull it. Yeah. And yet Or like when a little corner or cuticle gets loose. Yeah. And you don't have a clippers handy, but it's annoying you and you know you're gonna bleed and it's gonna hurt like a motherfucker, but you pull it anyway because you're an idiot. Yep. Yeah. Maybe it maybe it is that. Well, it's it's odd that these two coincide this year because well, it was so late. But um, it, it, not only was the goat erected this weekend, um, that's what she said. Um, <laughs> also, something else happened. Something terrible and horrible that happens every year. And we, pr- I prayed it would not happen this year that th- we would get through one Thanksgiving. Without these stories coming in. But you know what? Nope. Nope. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Black Friday Follies. Yeah. I don't yeah, know you I... thought the internet would kill this eventually. It should have. We was hoping. No, because they still do doorbusters to get people into the physical store. Like, 
Uh, so yeah, multiple occurrences this year. Um, this is the one that that a fight outside of Forever Twenty One in the Lee Valley Mall in Pennsylvania on Thursday was caught on video and shared on Facebook. At least five young men, possibly teenagers, are seen brawling as security guards attempt to break up the melee. Two of the men were involved in a fist fight when a third man jumped in to deliver a number of blows to his victim. At least two other men are then seen getting into the fray. It's not clear what ignited the Thanksgiving brawl. Shall, shall we look? Shall we have a look at, at the Forever 21 massacre? Here we go. Woo! Um. Oh, that's they're just a going, aren't they? Yeah. Look, I at me in Mean Girls, where all the kids turn into wild animals at the mall. Guys, I'm sad about Forever Twenty One too, but you know, you gotta let some things go. Are you? Have you shopped at Forever Twenty One? No, I've never shopped there in my life. It's not worth, it's, it's not worth being sad over. <laughs> really, I know. Um, I'm just, I'm kind of wondering what, what's really. This this is what you're doing on your Black Friday. It, it didn't appear they were even shopping. This reinforces. I keep putting forth this theory. This reinforces my theory that people are just using Black Friday as an excuse to go to out and rumble. Yeah, yeah. It's it's it, it's back sort of, in my mall employee days. I worked midnight to eight a.m. So I got out before. Like I was there for the midnight doorbusters, but then it died. But. I decided, I forget why, I decided there was something at Sears that was on sale. So like 8 o'clock at night, I come back. Hmm. And it's not that busy, because it's 8 o'clock at night. All the madness has passed. But there's like nobody working at the Sears. And I'm like, that's weird on Black Friday. And I finally found someone. And I was like, wow, you're really understaffed. And they said, well, everybody left after the, after the gun threat. The what now? And they're like, oh, yeah, the mall was closed until about an hour ago because a bunch of kids, like 50 kids, got in a brawl in the food court and somebody yelled gun. So they locked down the mall. And by law, they have to let people go home. And only a few of us came back. And I'm like, that fucking sucks. Well, also, I'm glad I was at home eating McDonald's. We have we have more fun uh, from Walmart, Marietta, California. Two men came to blows in the gift aisle. All this for wrapping paper, a bystander says, as the background is the two as the unidentified men violently tussle. Turns out the fight between the two men, one an active Marine, the other a retired Marine, is reportedly not over wrapping paper, but apparently simple etiquette. The men were waiting in the checkout line when an elderly woman apparently bumped into the one of the men with the shopping cart, which prompted one of the men to make a comment. The other man reportedly scolded him and demanded he respect his elder. That's when they began to brawl. You're both Marines, which means you should fucking know better. <laughs> like, I know a few Marines, and they teach you how to act in the Marines. They have an image that they want to maintain. More Walmart. Um, Not like army savages. The aftermath of an apparent brawl between two women at the Walmart in Hendersonville, Tennessee, was also caught on video. Walmart employees and security were seen. Oh, come on, play the video. Were seen uh, breaking up a group of shoppers amid a chaotic scene in which one woman's hair is disheveled from the fight. "Quote: She hit me first," the woman said after things got under control. That that doesn't mean you hit her last. No. That's that's a fucking five-year-old's excuse. That stops working when you can form full sentences. But, uh, and of course, we have we have one one uh, one person here. Uh, she's really getting the spirit of this. Is uh, Angel Garcia? Uh, <laughs> he sorry has has getting the spirit. Yeah, he has a wonderful username on Twitter's um, both of these nuts. <laughs> and uh, here he is taking selfies during the melee at Black Friday. That, so. that should replace the meme of the little girl smirking as the house burns. Yeah. <laughs> that should be the new version of that meme. Just a dude smiling in front of Black Friday chaos. He's not even smiling. He's just gets barely at his eyes in, in the frame. <laughs> 
Oh, so yeah. It's almost never worth it. The sales get better the closer you get to Christmas. The Black Friday sales are not the best sales. And the things that are on sale that's worth it, they have 10 of. And you're not going to get one. It's not worth it. No, I, you know, I cannot imagine any material good that I could purchase in a mall or Walmart that would in- encourage me to leap into a fray. No, fuck no. There, there is nothing in the, nothing that any of these, these places contain. Nothing that would make me go, oh, I will commit a fucking felony to obtain that. It's not the last case of clean water on the planet. It's TV. Alina says, oh, God, I didn't notice the baby. Yeah, you notice the baby in the fucking picture. Yeah, people bring their small children to this. <sighs> not even a turbo doll. Not, not even a turbo doll. I mean, look, listen, if I'm going to commit a felony over a material good, I would prefer to go with breaking and entering than I would felony assault and battery. Preferably somewhere where there's not lots of security cameras. Yeah, you know, I mean, it, it's, it, if, if you give me the choice of, look, I'm going to go to jail for beating for beating and getting beat, or I'm going to go to jail for a heist, I would prefer to go to jail for the heist. A heist sounds way cooler. It does. But, you know, that's not the only Black Friday nonsense that happened this weekend, because, uh, of, of course, just to put it in our wheelhouse... We have Black Friday and naked. Virginia man found nude in Cole's parking lot on Black Friday. Nightsdale police in uh, Nightsdale, North Carolina, have arrested a uh, Nightdale, sorry, have arrested and charged a Virginia man found nude in a Cole's parking lot on Black Friday. Authorities say an officer on patrol allegedly smelled marijuana coming from a row, a row of cars before co- finding a car with a window down and a naked man inside. The officer says the suspect, later identified as Tillich Shonda Little, 28, attempted to drive away after the officer ordered him to dress and exit the vehicle. Police say the man drove behind uh, and between nearby buildings, but stopped a short distance away and was taken into custody wearing a pants and shirt. His actions had not been reported by any civilians, nor were his motives clearly known. Charged with indecent exposure, resisting arrest, and marijuana possession. It's also served with an outstanding warrant for assault on a female. Yikes. Little's currently. So he had clothes in the car. He did. He just decided it's Black Friday. I'm in a shopping park. I'm in the the, the, the parking lot of a shopping center. I'm going to get naked and high. Like somebody asked you to ride the coals on Black Friday. You don't want to go in. I'll wait in the car. Why not get baked? And naked? Sure. You know, I'm just, you get naked and high on Black Friday in the show. That's almost like a fetish, really. That's like a thrill. (laughs) Just get naked and high at home. Yeah, but if you're naked and high at a retail establishment on Black Friday, you're at the edge of the apocalypse. You know? Yeah, I, you're you're definitely reaching for some kind of nirvana. Some kind of horrible American trash nirvana. <laughs> where you just transcend into one long episode of The Office. Forever. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. We have oh, oh, Jesus Christ! This is this is some wonderful Florida. Um, damn, is this a Karen? Th- this seems like a Karen. Where's her name? Uh, we do we don't have a name here, but I bet her name was Karen. I'm, See, people I... mishear my name as Karen sometimes, <laughs> and I get very upset. So I'm like, I am not a Karen. I don't want you to think that I am. Florida woman fakes in-flight medical emergency after being denied larger seat. Oh, fuck you. The plane was evacuated when the woman refused to deplane. Woman demanding a larger seat on an American Airlines flight is in custody 
after faking a medical condition that prompted the pilot to head back to a Florida airport. Once airborne, she told him she wanted a bigger seat. The pilot declared an emergency. Once on the ground, she made it clear she was faking the medical condition to get a bigger seat. Like through some authorities, once the Miami-bound flight arrived back in Pensacola, where it originally took off for. So this was entirely Florida self-contained. Pensacola police spokesman said the plane was evacuated when the woman refused to deplane. Wait, she got in trouble and she was like, you got to come out now. No. No. Not till you fly me where I'm going. Not can't make me. No. <laughs> You're going to yell at me. You know how you get a first class seat? You fucking buy one. You buy a first class seat. I know air travel sucks. The seats are tiny. They don't even give you a meal half the time. I understand that. But if you want a first class seat, you have to buy that shit. They don't just give it to you because you're fucking special. And to do that, sh to try and pull that shit mid -flight. Look, where have you been for the past 20 years? Do you yeah. not remember a certain day in American history where everything went really, really bad? And we went crazy. And it had to do with airplanes. Do you remember that day? Because you, the, everybody who works in the airline industry remembers that day. Yeah. And you start tweaking them in the middle of a flight. Oh, they're they not going to fuck around. The fuck they want. Once you're in that tube, it's like a little life dome. Mm-hmm. They own your... That's the other reason I don't want to fly with the three cats. Yeah. Because once you're in there, too, they make the rules. You, you and don't... I don't need Simba taking a big stinky shit and getting airlocked. You, especially over this petty... And tried to pretend like... What, what kind of medical emergency requires you to have a bigger seat? You could claim you were having a panic attack from claustrophobia... Some bullshit like that. You're claustrophobic in your seat? Yeah, if you're like in the middle seat. I'm not saying it makes sense. I'm saying it's a thing people could say. The armrests are closing in around you? Maybe. You get the middle seat between two big people. <laughs> Like, I've had flights where I've had to, like, dislocate my collarbone. <laughs> Man, no one respects your fucking armrest. Okay? I'm just going to say that. Everybody gets one. Okay? If you're, if once one of those armrests is yours. And if you got the window, you get fucking none. Right. Well, no, you, you, get, you get this one here. You, you get this. If you're in the window, you get the one on the other side of the window. And the person next to you, they get that one. And the guy on, on the row on the outside, he gets his. Everybody gets one armrest. Get the outside one so they can bang your elbow when they walk by. Right. Everybody gets one armrest. You don't get both. Don't don't no. start spreading the fuck out. You that is violating the etiquette. Asshole. Well, next one, this is a terrifying Goodwill story. Because occasionally I go by the Goodwill, especially the, the little computer store, the Goodwill. That's awesome. You can find like, huh. use tech and stuff, cool things. Um, this was not a cool thing someone found in the Goodwill. I don't even know. I have no idea how the fuck this happened. Gun found in baby shower present. Wow. At a Valpar Valparaiso Goodwill. Oh, it gets worse. The gun, a Mossberg 715T semi-automatic rifle, had live ammo in it. Nobody checked that box. Military wife thought she was buying a baby Einstein's bouncer at a local thrift store. Was surprised to find something else in the box. Veronica Alvarez Rodriguez says she and her husband were heading to a baby shower Sunday when she stopped at the Goodwill in uh, Valparaiso. Uh, it seemed like the perfect gift for the baby shower, she said. Uh, she said the item, which cost $9.99, was unopened and appeared to be new. After purchasing the gift, the couple <laughs> went to a yes. shower. In Crestview. All right. Now, I've been to the, to the Goodwill before. I found brand new stuff there. People just drop off stuff they, 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 get, they don't want. So this makes sense. But then, the gun. Um, Can you imagine being at that baby shower? Yeah, here's what happened. The father-to-be opened the box and shouted, You guys got me a gun? 
No. No, we fucking did it. <laughs> yeah, for the baby. No, it, it, this baby's gets... got to defend himself. <laughs> this is this gets even wackier. Okay. Officer came to the shower, checked couple's ID to make sure they were not convicted felons. The responding officer initially allowed the father to be to keep the gun while the incident was under investigation. I mean, they bought it. No! Like, on one hand, I don't think anybody should have one of those things. Fuck your comments. On the other hand, they did pay for it. But the next day, police asked him to turn the gun over to Press Room Police Department. So that was the, this one officer says, "Well, I guess you keep it." And they went back to he went back to the office like, "You told him what? You go get that gun. Go, Bob, Bob, Bob. Go get that lesson fucking here gun." Is if you buy stuff at second hand, because we had Lego with meth in it from a second hand store too. Yep. If you buy second hand, even if it looks new, check the package. Was you know? Here's what I think. What happened here? Okay. This was like a setup for a crime. They were like, if you're looking for the gun, it'll be in the Goodwill and the Baby Einstein bouncer box. No one will think to look for it. I'm picturing more like post the crime. They were trying to hide the weapon. So they hid it in the box. And then the wife or girlfriend was like, oh, that old baby bouncer. We should get rid of that and just donated it. With live ammo in it, Jesus. Okay, I. There's so much wrong. So much. You're supposed to check the fucking things that come in there. I guess because the box was sealed, they're just like, all right, must be whatever. <laughs> uh, I. I You're also supposed to check the gun before you lay it down anywhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, Captain Gun Safety here has explained to me several times that even if you know for a fact, even if you just cleaned and built that gun, mm -hmm. you check the fucking chamber. You always treat a gun as if it's loaded. Yeah. Yes. I, I, I just... Fucking comments. Yeah. Like the one time he had me hold his gun once I was done holding it like this, <laughs> like it was covered in bees... I made the mistake of like holding it and I kind of pointed it at him and he was like, that's the first thing you never do. <laughs> <laughs> and I just put it down. <sighs> okay. What's next? Teddy bears full of cum? No, we already did a My Little Pony boiled in cum. That's like years ago. Yeah. Years sadly. Ago. Sadly. Next up. Okay. I th this is this is a wonderful and terrible headline all at the same time. I know it's I want to stress no one was seriously hurt. That's always an important one to stress here. Um but this headline is I laughed at it. I'm sorry I couldn't help myself. Man punches elderly man when told to stop masturbating at Miami supermarket parking lot. <laughs> Look at that mugshot. Just look at That looks like a man who's masturbating in the supermarket parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> if you ask me to draw a composite sketch of who I picture when you say masturbating in the supermarket parking lot, that's the guy. Maybe some big 80s glasses on him. Man faces several charges after being accused of punching an elderly man who told him to stop masturbating. <laughs> Oh, the victim told officers he observed Van de Graaff in the parking lot, intoxicated, with his pants down, and masturbating in front of the supermarket. The victim says he approached, he approached Van de Graaff in the parking lot um, to tell him to stop, and that's when he had Van de Graaff became upset and began repeat, to repeatedly punch him, causing laceration on, the, laceration on the side of his face. He told officers that Van de Graaff continued to punch him even when he fell to the ground. Jesus Christ. Which hand? Oh, Tara. God. I'm just saying that matters. Jesus <laughs> One Christ. is more insulting. Jesus Christ. <laughs> One is more egregious and might infect that laceration. Police say Vandergriff was transported to Kendall Regional Hospital, where upon arrival, 
he continued to masturbate in the hallway in front of officers and medical staff. This is like Chuck from Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever watched Sons of Anarchy? I have not. <laughs> There's a character that like compulsively masturbates whenever he gets nervous. And he works for the triads and they get so sick of it that they cut off all but his middle fingers so he can't nervously masturbate anymore. And it's a whole thing. He ends up being quite a charming character once the fervent jerking off <laughs> stops. Wrestling officer said he smelled a strong odor of alcohol from Vandergriff's breaths. He also said Vandergriff had bloodshot eyes, unable to walk straight, and had slurred speech. No kidding. How drunk it like how how many fifths <laughs> till you're just dropping trow and jerking off in front of the Super fucking Piggly market. Wiggly? Is Piggly Wiggly a supermarket? Yeah. Okay. What? Like yeah, how now I'm also imagining that it's a it's a euphemism for jerking off. <laughs> Honestly, I always thought that name sounded weirdly dirty. <laughs> I don't know who names a business Piggly Wiggly. Just, that sounds like something you tell a child, like, stop touching your Piggly Wiggly, George. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just for the love of God, this this poor... This dude is just like, son, could you stop jerking off, please? <laughs> no! No, I cannot. No. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that, that this is actually, you know what? That story was actually better than our last story. This is a terrible story. This is all oh my god. Everything about this story is made me sad. I do not like it. I do not like it, Sam I am. Deb, half naked Florida man makes a mess all over an elementary school. Let's uh, let's go ahead and let your mind go oh, where mess is like in hyphens. Yes, let 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 you, let your mind go where it's gonna go. And uh, and then there's a subhead. Deputies say he smeared cake frosting everywhere too. Apopka, Florida. The 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 article Dale Green Greenstein. The article starts off with a single word. Why? <laughs> I'm not kidding. Look. Why? <laughs> That's the question the Seminole County Sheriff's Office has still not really been able to answer. After we say a Florida man broke into Bear Lake Elementary School on August 20, uh, 25th in Apopka. Uh, the principal saw it first the next morning. Saying he called the school resource deputy, he saw signs of the break in were obvious. Christian Shea, 25, is accused of spreading cake frosting on a teacher's desk and leaving handprints of human excrement on a window ledge. That's not all. Deputies went room to room. They say there were shoe footprints in frosting and bare footprints, too. Investigators this found. Is, this is metered like a terrible fairy tale. <laughs> Investigators found a stapler in the toilet and a remote control covered in, well, yeah. After that, deputies came across a child's sweatshirt with more frosting and more poop. And then report details all sorts of nasty handprints and, foot, handprints and footprints Shea is accused of leaving on his way out. Insult to injury? Why not? Deputies say they found one of the school's laptop, laptops in a trash can Dirty underwear dangling from the roof, and they watch surveillance of Shay making his getaway half naked from the waist down. So he's shirt cocking it. Just, he's shit cocking it. <laughs> just the just sounds of it. Winnie the Pooh in it all the way out. Winnie Coin the <laughs> Pooh in it. <laughs> According to the rest report, two employees recognized him as the same man who broke into the school twice before. And they identified Shea in a photo lineup. He was arrested at his home on November 22nd. The report states Shea identified himself as the man in the video and blamed his actions on marijuana that was laced with, quote, an unknown substance. Son. Really? Oh, son. 
What was it laced with? Metamucil? (laughs) 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 Marijuana and Miralax? What happened here? Helios says, okay, now I can say, quote, at least it wasn't semen. Yeah. I I just, my God. Where did the cake frosting even come in? Why was the stapler in the toilet? And what flavor was the cake frosting? Because I'm picturing a lot of cops having to determine <laughs> which brown goo is what. <laughs> <laughs> That's a terrible job. That's a terrible day at work. I, I'm just, I'm... Why is his underwear on the roof? Why... What the hell happened? You know, all of those 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 reefer madness shorts and everything, they were all <laughs> this like is what they warn us. This is what Joe Biden is warning us about. Yeah, it's it's not you're not gonna kill somebody. You're not gonna go leap off the roof. No, no, you're gonna do this bullshit. Are you will cover in elementary school and shit. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's this is your destiny. Nobody I know who smokes pot has ever done anything like this, to my knowledge. Yeah, I don't think so either. I think I would have. I think we would have heard about it in our social. I mean, circles. I guess they probably wouldn't admit it if they had. Hmm. Now I'm going to ask around. <laughs> hey, uh, you, you, you do pot, right? Yeah. Um, have you ever uh, covered an elementary school and shit? Just, Just think, think cake frosting. Yeah, cake frosting. Just are you, you ever sure? just get really baked and think, man, I just want to go like shit all over Miss <laughs> Beamer's third grade classroom. That chick was such a bitch to me. And he, this is the third time she flunked me in spelling. He keeps breaking into the same school. That's not okay. This, you know, this they're just not that into you, dude. Like, how do you get to the third breaking of the elementary school without ending up on some kind of list? Right? (laughs) How are they still letting you walk around when you've broken into an elementary school more than once? You say after the first time you break into an elementary school, they might have a little bit of an issue with that. They might have, like, one of those If You See This Man posters in the fucking office. Yeah. Well, I don't under I don't understand the sequence of how did just yeah what happened here? <laughs> what happened? I can't even in my mind. I cannot even picture what event to the next and how they are all connected together. They just seem like random moments, just breaking through time and space. Yeah, this this feels like a movie montage. I don't know what kind of movie. This is kind of like one of those Donnie Darko things where, like, reality just shifts slightly out of phase for no good reason. I mean, reality shifts are hell on the bowels. Everybody knows that. I don't, I don't even, how is this fun? Because this doesn't seem like, this seems like a lot of work to me. Yeah. Yeah. Because this, this, this doesn't seem like something you just go, woohoo! No, no, this seems like a lot of effort was put into this. Yeah, this sounds exhausting. <laughs> I, I don't see this. This sounds like, man, I got a shit in the other room, too. God damn. <laughs> <sighs> I haven't even ripped all the laptops yet. Fuck. Oh, they better appreciate this. I just mother of... I guess the first thing we've learned this week... Marijuana, not even once. That's what we learned. <laughs> it won't make you kill your friend. And it'll just make you cover elementary school and poop. If you have an accident while you're actually in elementary school, the other kids are going to make fun of you, but the teachers are going to be a little used to it. If you have an accident in elementary school when you're 25, nobody is going to understand. <laughs> we don't understand. We're trying. Um, we've learned that, uh, sometimes you just got to stop jerking it, dude. Yeah. Just stop it. Just, just stop jerking it. Just stop. 
there's a time and a place for making the bishop cry. <laughs> <laughs> Not at the supermarket. <laughs> I've, heard, I've actually heard that use euphemism before. It's been a long time, but it's so good. <laughs> oh, people are stealing that from you. You realize this? I hope so. <laughs> she she likes that. We have learned that uh, just because uh, it came from a goodwill doesn't mean goodwill was involved. Yeah. Um, check, boxes. check the box there may be a fucking loaded gun in there it's like a toy surprise only uh, it's a gun um we've learned don't fuck with the flight crew no I don't know why we have to tell you this it's been almost 20 years don't fuck with the flight crew it's one of the first lines in American Gods the book and the TV show yep. don't fuck with those people in airports yep. don't make them mad um, we've learned that, uh, it's, it, it might be a thrill to get high and watch, you know, the, the human misery of, of commercialism, but, um, it, you should still keep your pants on. Yeah. And finally this week we've learned that, um, we, we, uh, are, the new national pastime is, as as a blend of capitalism and violence. We're, we're just, we have, we, we, we've loved it. It's like. We had the two great tastes. Now we're putting the two great we tastes. We finally together. managed to merge the two things we're best at. Just mindless consumption and wanton destruction. <clears throat> We've finally gotten them together. That shall be our legacy. You got your felony in my credit card debt. You got my credit card debt in your felony. <laughs> 